ways than one. We're back with our political commentator, it's Ashley Etienne, who served as communications director for Vice President um, Harris. David, I mean, you, you look at that polling, do you uh, put much stock in the, the numbers, that the, I mean, the polling at this point? Well, I'd say a few things about it. One is, you know, this thing hasn't settled and it won't for a while, so I don't know exactly how much to put into it. I do think it reflects the reality that where Joe Biden was weak with younger voters and uh, voters of color. She's uh, she's doing better now and likely will do better uh, in November. Uh, she's probably uh, losing a little ground among older voters, some white voters who uh, who were uh, committed to Biden. Um, but, you know, we don't know where this is going. And we should point out that for her being tied or close to tied in a national poll is a loss because you have to, if you're a Democrat, you have to be a few points ahead nationally in order to carry the battleground states. The polls are overweighted for large states like California, New York, and so on, where she's going to roll up uh, big numbers. I, I mean, look, I think she's had an amazing rollout and the enthusiasm is real. The money is incredible. The, volunteer is, the volunteers, and I, I think that there's some uh, momentum to that that may continue. But everybody should be sober about the fact that this is a hard race and she's not ahead right now. And uh, it's going to take a lot of work to get to 270 electoral votes. Yeah, actually, the poll found that, that half of those backing Harris.